Clayton. The Alzheimer's Association is once again inviting the community to come together in an effort to fight for a different future, a future where we can put an end to Alzheimer's. So joining me now to tell us more about their upcoming walk and how you can get involved are Emily Witt and Casey Halstead. Ladies, great to have you on the show. Welcome. Hello. Thank you for having us. Of course. Now, Casey, I'm going to start with you. Tell us a little bit about this um, walk to end Alzheimer's. This is the world's biggest walk. To it it is, yeah. So this is the Alzheimer's Association's biggest fundraising push that they do. This is how um, they raise a lot of money, which goes towards the research and the funding um, to create the new medications and to get everything going. Um, a lot of it will stay locally as well, which is great. Um, so this is the biggest fundraising effort. It's a way for everyone to get together and remember the ones that we've lost, um, for the ones that are living with the disease to come together and show um, that they have lots of support. Mm -hmm. um, um, and for everyone to show their support for this cause. Yeah, I think that's what's so key about yeah. this walk is that everybody can come together, like you said, and so you're yes. not alone in this fight. Correct. And this is such a, a lonely disease yes. for sure. So um, Emily, tell us a little bit about the Promise Garden and what that signifies. Yes. Well, the Promise Garden is one of my favorite parts of the walk. Um, so there are different flowers, as you see here, mm -hmm. um, and each flower color represents. So orange, which is the one I'm wearing, represents they're supporting the cause, like they are working hard to find an end. Yellow is for caregivers, and we know what a toll that this horrible disease takes on caregivers. Blue is for those living with Alzheimer's. And so to be at the walk and see the number of people holding up the blue, mm. and you look and you, you're like, I would have never thought. Mm -hmm. It really cre it makes it real for those of us not impacted. And then purple is those that have lost loved ones to this horrible disease. And the flowers are held throughout the walk and um, you can write messages on each, on each petal with names and it just really kind of brings that purpose mm -hmm. of why we're all there together because yeah. we're all connected through a flower. We are connected, absolutely. In one way or another, you know, we're all affected. So. Um, Casey, tell us a little bit about some of the, the money raised and, mm -hmm. and where this money is going. You mentioned that it is staying locally. Yes. Um, but it also goes to research and, and yeah. helping people as they're, you know, going through and progressing through this disease. Absolutely. Um, so the Alzheimer's Association, you know, is one of the bigger supporters of those um, dealing with Alzheimer's and their caregivers. Um, so they have the 24-7 um, helpline. They also have a lot of research studies that are happening on a global scale. They're in um, 56 countries, um, so not just in the United States. Um, we're also working with VCOM um, here locally. Mm -hmm. They're doing a lot of research studies. Um, they've, you know, testing out medications and things like that, which they're making a lot of progress for. But it also helps fund um, support groups and things like that for those living with Alzheimer's, but also their caregivers yeah. um, because, you know, one in three seniors now are dealing with um, this disease and it's expected to just grow. Yeah. So it is becoming more and more prominent. So having that support there, um, not only for those living with it, but that, that caregiver support is just so important. Yeah, I'm glad that you mentioned that because I think that that's something that we overlook sometimes yes. is the caregivers mm -hmm. and the toll that yes. it puts on them and to have resources available mm -hmm. so they can get a break. Right, exactly. Key. Yeah. And that's one of the things I think is we pride ourselves on is that we mm -hmm. can speak to how the money goes back locally. Yeah. Um, we have monthly caregiver support groups locally at various locations. We mm -hmm. offer it virtually too. And then there's education um, about the disease or about the treatments that's that's happening all over, yeah. um, which is exciting because we are in a treatment er yeah. era right now. Yeah, absolutely. It's exciting to see. Yeah, right. absolutely. Uh, Casey, I understand that you have a personal connection to yes. Alzheimer's and I know that you work at the Friendship Home, right? Yeah, so I work at um, the Adult Day Center at Friendship called the Fine Hour Center. Um, so the majority of our participants there um, do have some level of cognitive impairment. Um, majority are Alzheimer's dementia. Um, and I also have you know family members that have lived with the disease my grandfather um, we lost to side effects of a stroke and, and dementia related to that um, so you know it's kind of every day you see not only the effect that it takes um, on our participants that we work with every day but also their family members it becomes you know 
the whole picture. So you really see the toll that it takes on everyone and that it really does take a community and a village to support everyone through this. Yeah, I love that. And I love coming together. And this Saturday is when we're all getting together. Yes. yes. I'm going to uh, see this, which I'm really excited about. It's, it's happening this Saturday at Wasina Park. Yes. Um, registration is at 9. Mm -hmm. The Promise Garden Ceremony, 945. And then, of course, we're all going to walk doesn't matter, rain or shine, we're going to do it, right? That's right. right. Absolutely. And, um, so we want people to register and get more information. Yep. ALZ.org slash Roanoke Walk for more information. Thank you both for being here. Absolutely. Thanks, Thanks so right. much for having, having us. us. Absolutely. I look forward to seeing you on Saturday. Yes, yes. Okay. Be there. All right, up next, treating a specific topic.